I'm going to tell you a little known secret about creative professionals. People that get paid to be creative every day. You see, they can't wait around for inspiration to strike because they can't wait around for a paycheck. We're talking about novelists, screenplay writers, painters, cartoonists. You better believe they have a process for their creative craft. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of my go-to moves for when I'm feeling stuck. It's something that always gets my creative juices juicy. <laughs> that sounded gross. I apologize. Let's get in there. Have you ever heard the saying, good artists copy and great artists steal? Who wrote that? Did I write that? I think it was Picasso. Well, when I was younger, like hearing phrases like this, it sounded like selling out to me. It was very important for me actually not to be influenced by anybody. I just wanted to be like this unique snowflake with this really inventive sound and I didn't want to rip anybody off. But the truth is, you can be inspired by people and not rip them off. There's no way not to put your own special sound on a song just because you're you. So what we can do for our songwriting process to make it go a little faster is use something called reference tracks. And what is a reference track? Basically a reference track is just songs that when we're writing songs, we can listen to them to get inspired by. Okay, so now that you understand what a reference track is, how many reference tracks should we choose whenever we're getting ready to write our song? If you just chose one song, you might end up sounding too much like that song whenever you go to write your song. And if you picked more than five reference tracks, well that might be too many to help you stay focused. So just like the Schoolhouse Rock song says, three is a magic number. And also, triangles are kind of cool. Picture a triangle now, and picture three points on the triangle, and on each one of those points is a reference track that you have chosen before you start writing your song. Now imagine that your new song is going to lie somewhere in the middle of that triangle. Song triangulation is just a fancy way to say, we're going to use three different reference tracks to create a new song that's a mix of all three or an average of all three. What's great about this approach is you can choose three songs by the same artist, or you can choose three songs in the same genre, or they can be three songs from different artists, different genre. They can be on completely different ends of the musical spectrum. The only thing that I ask is that you choose songs that either inspire you or songs that you want to aspire to. Hey there, hi there, ho there, hope you enjoyed that video. That was a clip from my songwriting course, The Songwriting Workshop. If you liked this, and if you got value from it, and you are interested in learning more about the Songwriting Workshop, then just click on the link in the description below this video. I've got over 40 videos like this one that walk you through the entire songwriting process, and there are exercises along the way. Not like CrossFit or yoga exercise, songwriting exercises. And if you follow along with me throughout the Songwriting Workshop, you have a brand spanking new song by the time you finish it. That's my guarantee. Oh, and I don't care if you like or subscribe. That's, that's up to you. You do you, boo.